Well, I'm on facts of Mars. I don't know why I, when this is ever going to end. This flat earth nonsense. Now, uh, spread the alcohol. Uh, YouTube video showed one of their flat earth signs they uh, put up in Oklahoma. It's about $1,500. Uh, oh my god. An inventive campaign by flat earthy Earth conspiracy theorists catch the attention of Mars via billboards that spread to Oklahoma. Over the last next month, drivers cruising down the highway near Tulsa International Airport may spot an electronic ad which asks the question, Is Earth flat? Well, no, it isn't. Except that it's flattened a little bit at the poles. Unlike the previous billboard, which appeared in Philadelphia earlier this month and simply said, Research Flat Earth, this particular message also includes information on a Facebook group where people can do just that. As one can surmise, the billboard was purchased by that group, specifically one dedicated member who paid $1,500 for months worth of ad space. Uh, are these people made of money? That's a lot of money to put in a stupid billboard. If you're feeling left out because your city doesn't have a flat earth billboard yet, you may have not have long to wait. As the group promises Denver and Phoenix will soon get similar ads and many more communities are being considered for the campaign. I didn't read that word for word, by the way. I often don't. So keep your eyes peeled as you're taking road trip on 4th of July holiday weekend because you just might see a message from the Flat Earth kooks. They call them folks. I call them kooks. Coast Insiders, who may be inspired by the Billboard campaign, can check out researcher March, Mark Sargent's appearance in the 521-15 edition of the program, where they detail the Flat Earth concept which has become enormously popular in recent years. It's because people aren't educated, that's why it's become popular. Now you may have noticed that I use mental disorder of liberalism theme, because I believe that's what these are, are liberals. See, it's not fair that we have mountains and hills and valleys and, you know, some continents and near the uh, equator, some places near the equator, some are where it's cold, and that's just not fair. Well, that's called a planet. Uh, I am not going to indulge these people. You know, just take a look at a lunar eclipse sometime and tell me if you think the Earth is flat. I am not going to indulge them. I'm sorry. If you actually believe this stuff, then you are mentally ill to the point where you need to go to a doctor. We have the science. We, we know what a subject right there. Now, I have my arguments with NASA. Uh, and our government. My arguments with NASA are over their uh, rather limited feeling of certain subjects. I don't have any argument with NASA when it comes to space science and how the uh, planets orbit the sun and so forth. I mean, when I go all the way, you may as well say the Earth is the center of the universe and the uh, sun rotates around the Earth. Uh, actually, I want to get down right technical. Let's say you had a sun and a planet. They're just one of each, and they're out there in space. The sun would rotate around the planet. It would take it a long time. Of course, the 
planet would rotate around the sun many more times than the sun would rotate around the planet, but that's, and that's all, that all has to do with the law of the conservation of angular momentum, or such, or one of the laws of thermodynamics, too. It has to do with physical laws which state that planet exerts the like, same exact amount of force on the star as the star exerts on the planet. Alright. But that's getting aside. Uh any of you are confused by this, like I said, go outside on um, a lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse is this one that you can look at with your bare eyes without having to worry about damaging your eyes. Not to be confused with a solar eclipse. That solar eclipse is in the daytime, lunar eclipse is at night. And you'll see the round disk of the Earth blotting out a portion of the moon. Duh! I'm not going to indulge these people, I'm sorry. They're mental cases if they actually believe their own stuff. And they're frauds if they don't. And they're almost certainly liberals. And liberalism is a mental disorder. I'm Mars Facts and Mars, thanks for watching.